Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode 9, Baylor. chilly in this room right here. It's always cold in this room. Goodness gracious. You know what I noticed? Look, it says what house they're in beside it. Well, besides the character's name, look, Lannister Peter Dinklage. I never What's noticed that, dude. Well, what house is that with the flower? The, um... Or that? The Tyrells. Are you right about that? I don't know. I guess we'll find out, right? To be honest, there's little things that pop up, though. Like, for real, I've seen them, but I never really even noticed them. Me either. Until just now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> Wait, wait, can you pause it for one second? I want to say something. I just want to say, guys, um, a lot of people gave us some hate for Danny and Cal Drogo's relationship. And I just want to say, honestly, that's the vibe we got. Just I don't even us, know what scenes they're talking out. about, to let be honest. Play out. I think huh? everyone's talking about different scenes. I mean, I think that they're into each other, sure. I'm just saying, like, she definitely is, like, into him because she thinks that he has an opportunity to win her an Iron Throne. Right. I mean, if he was a weasel, like, I don't think that she'd be into him. Right. Okay, that's all I'm saying. You've seen better days, my lord. Visit. Many still love you. Sansa came to court this morning. Plead for your life. On her knees begging for me. Did you laugh with the others? You do me wrong, my lord. Your blood is the last thing I want. I don't know what you want. I've been up trying to guess. When I was still a boy. Story time. Before the hot knife. Ow, I, I traveled with a group of actors through the free cities. They taught me that each man has a role to play. The same is true at court. I am the master of whisperers. My role is to be sly, obsequious, and without scruples. I am a good actor, my lord. You free me from this bed. Mm. I could, but will I? No. As I said, I'm no hero. <laughs> what do you want? Tell me. No stories. Tell me, what do you want? Peace. Did you know that your son is marching south with an army of Northmen, fighting for his father's freedom? Rob. Two bees. Just a boy. Boys have been conquerors before. Lord Stannis has the best claim to the throne. Stannis Baratheon is Robert's true heir. The throne is his by rights. Sansa pleaded so sweetly for your life, it would be a shame to throw it away. He's just too noble, bro. Like, come on. You want me to serve the woman who murdered my king, who crippled my son? I want you to serve the realm. Tell the queen you will confess your vile treason and proclaim Joffrey as the true heir. If you give her the peace she and promise to carry her secret to your grave. I believe she will allow you to take the black and live out your days on the wall. <laughs> you think my life is some precious thing to me? Oh. That I would trade my honor for a few more years of war. Oh, he thinks really little of where his son went, Jon Snow. Mm-hmm. Learned that craft and you learned it well. But I grew up with soldiers. I learned how to die a long time ago. Dang, he's giving up. Such a pity. What of your daughter's life, my lord? Is I know. that a precious thing to you? Yeah, he's in a conundrum, man. Because Varys is saying very specifically, it's not about serving Joffrey. It's not about serving the queen or doing what's right. It's about keeping peace in the, um, what do you call it? The yes. realm. Yeah. Serve the realm. <gasps> Good they shot. shot it down. Haka? Oh, that's, who is that? The guy who killed Theon? John Wick's dog. Oh, Theon? Yeah. It's a birthday message to his grandniece, Walder. So Walder Frey would have you think. Keep shooting them down. We can't risk Lord Walder sending word of your movements to the Lannisters. We can't expect his support. Expect nothing of Walder Frey and you'll never be surprised. Look. Father rots in a dungeon. How long before they take his head? We need to cross the Trident and we need to do it now. We've got five times his numbers. You can take the twins if you have to. Not in time. Tywin Lannister marches north as we speak. Have my horse saddled and ready. Enter the twins alone. He'll sell you to the Lannisters as he likes. Or slit your throat. So they have to pass this. My father would do whatever it took to secure our crossing. Bridge, whatever I guess. it took. If I'm going to lead this army, I can't have other men doing my bargaining for me. I agree. I'll go. You can't. Mother, I have known Lord Walder since I was a girl. He would never harm me. Unless there was a prophet in it. Oh, true. The Lannisters could pay him off, right? Right, and this guy's not exactly friendly. And what do you want? Is that him? It is a great pleasure to see you again after so many years, my lord. Oh, spare me. <laughs> Your boy's too proud to come before me himself. What am I supposed to do with you? Father, you forget yourself. Lady Stark is... Who asked you? You're not Lord Frey yet. Do I look dead to you? <laughs> Your mother was still be a milkmaid if I hadn't you into her belly. <laughs> Guy's a little rough around the edges, ain't he? You come forward. I'll be like, no, nah, I'm good right here. Uh, now that I've observed the courtesy. Is there somewhere we can talk? We're talking right now. Fine. Out. All of you. <laughs> I don't know how this is about to go. <laughs> you see that? Fifteen she is. A little flower. 
And the honey's all mine. Ooh. That was just the grossest way to put that ever. <laughs> I'm sure she will give you many sons. Your father didn't come to the wedding. He is quite ill, my lord. Didn't come to the last one either. Or the one before that. <laughs> Your family's always pissed on me. My lord, I Don't deny it. Fine, Lord Tully would never marry any of his children to mine. I'm sure there were reasons. I didn't need reasons. I needed to get rid of sons and daughters. You see how they pile up? <laughs> Why are you here? To ask you to open your gates, my lord, so my son and his banner men may cross the trident and be on their way. Why should I let him? He has 20,000 men outside your walls. There'll be 20,000 corpses when Tywin Lannister gets here. Don't try and frighten me, Lady Stark. Your husband's in a cell beneath the Red Keep. Oh, he already knows. Mm -hmm. You swore an oath to my father. Oh, yes. I said some words. And I swore oaths to the crown, too, if I remember right. Joffrey's <laughs> king now, which makes your boy and his corpses to be nothing but rebels, it seems to me. Outlaws, huh? Since the gods gave a fish, I can hand you both over to the Lannisters. Give me one good reason why I should waste a single thought on any of you. That seems to be some of the energy. Some people just don't want to get involved. Be able to use that hand. I thought a wolf was more appropriate for you than... Oh, that's clean. Look at that. That's a wolf? Looks as well for a wolf as a bear, I think. That's pretty cool. I told you my boy was a lone wolf. Thanks for that. This is Valyrian steel. It's my father's sword. Mormons have carried it for five centuries. Dang, that's crazy because Jorah's his son and he didn't even get that sword. Jon right. Snow got it. Dishonor to our house, but he had the grace to leave the sword before he fled from Westeros. My lord, you honor me, but I can't. Oh, you can, and you will. I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for you and your beast. Bloody dead man tried to kill me. He's a true believer, huh? Mm -hmm. You know more about it. I don't think this means I approve of this nonsense with you and us at Thorn. That's a man's sword. Take a man to wield it. I'll apologize to Sir Alistair tonight. No, you won't. I sent him to King's Landing yesterday. The hand that your wolf tore off that thing's wrist, I've uh, ordered Thorn to lay it at the feet of this boy king. <laughs> should get young Joffrey's attention. Oh my god. <laughs> That's good, because that drama was kind of getting old. Something had to give there. And bring me my supper. So he kind of likes him. He he is training him to be the leader. Basically, yeah. I didn't I I really didn't think he was gonna do that. Yeah, that White How can Walker. he have a family though? Because Jorah's his son. How can you have a family? He's in the Night's Watch. You're not supposed to have sons. Well, maybe you had a family before. Maybe you have to abandon them. Oh. Yeah, basically that White Walker showing up just sped up the process a little bit. Mm-hmm. Show us the sword. 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 <laughs> I'll be like, no, 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 that's enough. Give me my sword back. Right. I don't trust you guys. I can't. I'm really not supposed to say. And yet, you really want to say. So bad. <laughs> right. To say that it was a raven. I read the message to Maester Raymond. Is your brother Rob? Oh no. What about him? He's heading south to war. And he can't even help. That's All crazy. All his bannermen are rallied to his side. He'll keep him safe. That's what I'm saying. He's just in limbo. Mentally, he just doesn't want to be there. I don't know why he even he went here, him. man. I mean, I do. You guys explained why he went, actually, but that just sucks. He has so much more to offer the world than to just sit on that wall. But I guess ultimately that could be very important with the White Walkers. Yeah, maybe it will be good to the story for that. Well, what did he say? What did he say? Lord Walder has granted your crossing. Oh, let's go. His men are yours as well. Wow. You will be taking on his son, Oliver, as your personal squire. Fine, fine. And Arya will marry his son, Waldron, when they both come of age. She won't be happy about that. <laughs> Dang. Ain't that crazy? They don't even know where she is right now. You will marry one of his daughters, whichever you prefer. Bro, all that mm. just to pass a bridge. You can keep your men. To get a look at his daughters. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond laughing at him. And? One was. <laughs> Aren't they just ugly or something? <laughs> right, yeah. Well, you saw him. He looked like Frankenstein or something. Then I consent. Dang, he's doing what got to be done. You know, ultimately, he could just go back on his word when the time comes about that Mary and the daughter thing. <laughs> Maybe he can offer to, like, cut the grass a couple summers. Or <laughs> With a sword. Right. Get that nice cut. He said they had four times as many men. Why don't they just go in there and demand they just cross? Because but I guess ultimately Catelyn's being want, smart. Yeah, She's, you want peace. and Yeah, because they got to have... So, and he's fighting with them. His men are fighting with them minus the 400. I know, but that lady went in there and basically had to offer two of her kids up <laughs> just to pass a bridge. Like, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, well, they got to risk it all for Ned's life, right? Yeah, ultimately, yeah. Aww. Sam said you wanted to see me. Did you ever wonder why the men of the Night's Watch take no wives and father no children? Tell us, Master Raymond. No. 
Sure, they will not love. Love is the death of duty. Yeah, that's true. If the day should ever come when your Lord Father was forced to choose, what would he do? He would do whatever was right, no matter what. Then Lord Stark is one man in 10,000. Most of us are not so strong. What is honor compared to a woman's love? And what is duty against the feel of a newborn son in your arm? Or a brother's smile? Good questions. Sam told you. Oh, we all do our duty when there's no cost to it. Honor comes easy then. I always convince them to stay. Sooner or later, in every man's life, there comes a day when it is not easy. But he is my father and Rob is my brother. The gods were cruel when they saw fit to test my vows. They waited till I was old. And what could I do when the ravens brought the news from the south? The death of my family. I was helpless, blind, frail. When I heard they had killed my brother's son and his poor son and the children, even the little children. My father was Micah, the first of his name. My brother Egan reigned after him. Egan the Conqueror? When I had refused the throne and he was followed by his son Aerys, whom they called the Mad King. You're Aemon Targaryen. Whoa. Was that a punishment? I will not tell you. Stay. Or go. You must make that choice yourself. He looks Targaryen, doesn't he? Mm hmm they, Well, they're not all dead like people think. They're dispersed and kind of like... They're kind of hidden. Kept on the low in a way, mm -hmm. yeah. Are we in Essos now? Hey, let's go. Let's see what these love birds up to. <laughs> jeez you know Louise. Like, jeez, get a room. Oh my gosh, he was riding in... What is it called? Autopilot? Bro, is it that... It's that cut he... Oh my god, it's that cut he got. He doesn't know about infections, does he? There <laughs> are Oh, he got tired of listening to her mouth, huh? He said, I'm going to speak up. Dang, I guess head position of cow is easy to take. Well, I guess I'm starting to realize cow isn't like king. I guess king is something you swear allegiance to. And it's like a construct. But a cow just means like the leader of the pack at the time. Mm -hmm. so and it could can... be like tested. Right, absolutely. At any moment, it seems. Oh, there's Tyrion. The boy may lack experience and sense, but he does have a certain mindless provincial courage. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope your savages are going to be of some use. Great hairy one insisted he must have two battle axes. <laughs> Shaggle likes axes. <laughs> When the battle commences, you and your wildlings will be in the vanguard. Me and the tribesmen on the front lines. Oh, he's trying to get them killed, isn't he? Oh my gosh. Last night, Moon Brother stabbed a stone crow over a sausage. <laughs> Three stone crows seized the Moon Brother and opened his throat. Ulf is demanding blood money, which Shaga and Gunther refuse to pay. <laughs> when soldiers lack discipline, there will be no more discussion on the matter. Oh my gosh. He's always saying his dad doesn't love him. He, he obviously control. doesn't. He wants them on the front lines with wildlings. I thought they were like stone crows. Is that the same thing? I don't know. They look like wildlings to me. They look like crazy. Where did you find one so pretty at this hour? I took her from... Uh... Uh, what's his name? <laughs> the odds of me living long enough for him to retaliate have just dropped drastically. We'll be at the vanguard tomorrow. Oh, well. <laughs> I, uh, think I'll go and find myself one. Does that mean he's gonna die? Who I think you? they think that they are. Who would you like me to be? What did your mother call you? Shay, what did your mother call you? My mother died giving birth to me. Oh. Is that why I'm here? So we can talk about our mothers? What sort of accent is that? What do you want from me? I want you to share my tent. Is this Tyrion farting right now? I Dad guess so. <laughs> rub my legs when they are sore after a day's ride. I want you to take no other man to bed. And what do I get? One, safety. Two, the pleasure of my company. <laughs> <laughs> so he just like hired a girlfriend? I think so, yeah. <laughs> do you accept my proposal? He really has like a whole like identity thing with that gold, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. It gets him what he wants, don't it? Yeah, I guess so. Let's start with your last night in this world. No down payment or nothing. <laughs> what would you give him? Chicken soup? Not milk of the poppy. Khaleesi. He's very strong. No one understands how strong he is. Oh, you see the infection? How black he got? <gasps> Whoa. Are they covering up with something? Because that looks crazy. Oh my gosh, it's really close to his heart. He will die tonight, Khaleesi. He can't. He can't. I won't let him. Even a queen doesn't have that power. Oh my god, what are they gonna do? You must go quickly. I've heard there's a good port in a shire. I won't leave him. It's already gone, Khaleesi. Even if he dies, why would I run? I am Khaleesi, and my my son will be Karl after Drogo. This isn't Westeros, where men honor blood. Right. Here, they only honor strength. We just said that. You won't want any rivals. Your boy will be plucked from your breast and given to the dogs. Oh no. I won't. Leave him. Uh-uh, he needs to go. The wound has festered. Yergin. 
Oh, he might just do it anyways. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't work over here. Talking about some dragons. Where are they at? I think you should wear your armor tonight, sir. I think you're right. Bro, I'm stressed out. I need Drake. I need him to make a uh, recovery because I really want to get them ships moving. He's beyond the healer skills. All I can do is ease his path. Save him and I will free you. I swear it. You must know a way. Some magic. She said what magic? <laughs> oh, damn. She is a witch. Some would say death is cleaner. Oh, do it. Save him. There is a price. You have gold, whatever you want. It's not a matter of gold. This is blood magic. Only death pays for life. My death. No, not your death, Khaleesi. <laughs> Bring me his horse. <gasps> Wait, she's about to do a spell on him? This show's got spells? I guess. Have we seen the spell? Have I missed it? Maybe that. No, don't hurt the horse. Maybe it's like a spell. You know, like one of those spells that don't work. <laughs> Khaleesi, do not do this thing. Kill her and you kill your car. It is forbidden. I am your Khaleesi. I tell you what is forbidden. Oh, don't hurt the horse. Bro, I'm so confused. She's doing magic right now. You must go also, lady. Once I begin to sing, no one must enter the tent. The dead will dance here tonight. No poor horse. <laughs> it's going to go through some crazy junk. No one will enter. Oh. Bring him back to me. Bro, that was wild, dude. Like, what like, in the world? That poor horsey. That woman's brave as hell for doing that in front of all these people. Everyone in this tribe wants her dead, and she mm -hmm. just did that. What have you done? I have to save him. We could have been 10 miles away from here by now on the way to Ashai. Would have been safe. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, violence broke out. <gasps> She's pregnant and you're Speaking knocking her like that? Let's go. <gasps> oh, psych them up. Oh my gosh. She's just inside doing that ritual, you hear? Mm hmm. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Are you hurt? The baby hmm? is coming. The baby's the coming. Lives. They will not come. How far along is she? I thought she just got pregnant. I don't know. Come she looked pretty hands. pregnant. Her baby's about to be like this big. But you know what? You know what really just kind of hit me though? Hmm. I'm sitting here shocked at the fact that I'm going, that like I'm seeing all these spells and stuff, but this movie has like walking demons or walking like- White walkers, yeah. White walkers, whatever that is, like zombies or something. You look like you're in agony. <laughs> Fire is burning your pretty soft skin. <laughs> Are you immune to pain? Just used to it. Oh God, <laughs> that ain't good. They're playing a drinking game. Right. <laughs> Let's play a new game. There's a bravo C knife game I could teach you. Does it involve the potential for losing fingers? Not if you win. <laughs> no. <laughs> no knife games. Let's do something I'm good at. What are you good at? Trivia. Spending money. I make a statement about your past. If I'm right, you drink. If I'm wrong, I drink. I'll know if you're lying. I don't want to play this game. Fine. Braun first. Wasn't the game boring now? Your father beat you, but my mother hit harder. <laughs> you killed your first man before you were 12. It was a woman. She swung an axe at me. <laughs> You've been north of the wall. Dang. What brought you up there? Work. You don't get to play. <laughs> you once loved a woman many years ago, but it turned out badly, so you've never let yourself love again. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> oh. Look at the fun we're having. <laughs> your mother was a whore. Drink. She wasn't. Your father left the family when you were very young, never to return. Drink. He's just assuming she came from like a broken home or something. Yeah. <laughs> We've established rules. <laughs> you came from somewhere and you wanted to be elsewhere. The old shit stained world could drink off that one. <laughs> so specifics. What's a lowborn girl to do? Drink. She is mysterious. Are you sure? Drink. And don't talk about my mother and father ever, or I will carve your eyes from your head. Dang. Dear lady, if I have offended you, I apologize. My turn. Fine. <laughs> Ask away. Who are you in love with? That's not how the game works. I don't care the way the game works. <laughs> Our Lord, he used to be married. He used to be married. Dang. Another night, perhaps. It's not a pleasant story. Aww. 
or maybe I will cry. Yeah, open up, Tyrion. Let's go. Have a little story time. It was 16. My brother Jamie and I were riding when we heard a scream. She ran out onto the road with two men on her heels. Jamie scared away the men easily enough while I wrapped her in my cloak. Jamie hunted down the rapers. I took her to the nearest inn and fed her. Her name was Taisha, and she was hungry. Together, we finished off three chickens and a flagon of wine. Dang. <laughs> As it seems, there was a time when I was unaccustomed to wine. I forgot how afraid I was around girls. How I was always waiting for them to laugh at me, look away embarrassed, or ask me about my tall, handsome brother. I forgot about everything but Taisha. And somehow, I found myself in her bed. For three chickens? I should hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what the hell I was doing. She kissed me afterwards and sang me a song. What the Aww. hell? You ain't never sang me a song. A few lies, a few gold coins, one drunken septum, and there you have have it man and wife they basically did it like in vegas they got married in vegas right yeah <laughs> and sobered up and told my father first my father had jamie tell me the truth jamie had arranged the whole thing all of it that's crazy he thought it was time i had a woman wow after my brother confessed my father brought in my wife and gave her to his guards he paid her well silver for each man he brought me into the barracks and made me watch wow by the end she had so much silver that the coins were slipping through her fingers and rolling onto the floor. <laughs> That's like terrible, bro. <laughs> the worst. No wonder you're like I the way you man. are. You should have known. I was 16, drunk and in love. You are still young and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> How old is he supposed to be in this? Like late 20s, maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> Early 30s. Ron's like, all right, gotta, gotta go. go. <laughs> yeah. You're sleeping through the war. What? They stole the Knights March on us. They're a mile north. Oh my god. Wake up. Squire! You don't have a squire! <laughs> <laughs> now where's she about to go? Weep for me. You'll be dead. How will you know? <laughs> True that. I don't think she loves you very much, Tyrion. What in the world? <laughs> he's like hungover too, ain't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he barely knows where he's at. Stay low. Stay low. <laughs> if you're lucky, no one will notice you. His I armor's kind of cool, though. Right. Gather round. He kind of looks like Jamie with it, with the lion on the side and stuff. Moon Brothers and Painted He's drums. rallying everyone. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. He's in the front line. Onward to claim what is yours. You hear him like deepening his voice a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Onward. Onward. <laughs> what a warrior. <laughs> this is corny, bro. <laughs> He said, to battle. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he got knocked out, bro. What the heck? Is he trampling? No shot. Him? There is no way. Did they just trample him? What the heck? He's about to sleep through this whole war. This is the only reason. Oh my God, it's brutal. Did they win? That was the Northman. Is he floating? No, nah, they're dragging him. It looks like, oh God. You're a shit warrior. <laughs> <laughs> You're alive. <laughs> Good shot, Bron. Way to stay. I'm glad he Way was there. Way to stay living. Yeah. Did we win? We wouldn't be having this conversation if we didn't. They beat him. Rob's people. Oh, so you're going to be rooting for both armies in a way this whole series. Oh my God, that's crazy. Because you're kind of like, you're kind of into Tyrion and Bron and, oh, that's crazy. But I want Rob to win. <laughs> right. Dude. Good of you to notice. Oh, there he is right there. That tyrant. The scouts were wrong. They were 2,000 Stark Bannermen, not 20. Did oh. we get the stock boy at least? He wasn't here. Where what? was he? With his other 18,000 men. Oh, so only 2,000 came. Where are they? Flanking y'all. Crossing that bridge, right? Or was that just the 2,000? I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We should go, my lady. No. I mean, like, come on. Dude. Oh, they made it. So they said he wasn't there, but what? It looked like he just got out of a battle. Right. Yeah, I'm a little confused too. Oh, they went and got Jamie. Oh, they were fighting. Oh, His 18,000 went and fought Jamie. So they, they sent 2,000 against Tywin. Tywin, yeah. Yeah, okay. Captured Jamie. I love you, my sword, but I seem to have lost it. Oh, mm -hmm. cut him. Give me my daughters back. <sighs> I've lost them too, I'm afraid. Is he being smirky right now? He caught down 10 of our men. He's more used to us alive than dead. Take him away and put him in irons. He could end this war right now, boy. Save thousands of lives. Let's end this here and now. Or you oh. can just cut his throat right now. Yeah. Tell him to shut to up. If we do it your way, Kingslayer, you'd win. Yeah, because he's a good swordsman, right? Yeah, we ain't doing it your way. Come on, pretty man. <laughs> 
Rip that man. It was me. I just cut his damn fingers off. And send him one by one to King's Landing. Right. So Cersei can be like, Here's Jamie's pinky. Here's his toe. Here's his wiener. And you can guess which one's which. That was some good play right there, Rob. That was tricky. You tricked me. One victory does not make us conquerors. Did we free my father? Did we rescue my sisters from the queen? Not yet. Did we free the North from those who want us on our knees? This war is far from over. Are you getting the vibe that the show's sort of setting up for Rob to take over the throne? Yeah. That's it seems like he's a great right. leader. Like, people are listening to him we got a long ways to go but we'll see oh, oh. there's aria <gasps> oh <laughs> dang where is she at king's landing can i have one a lemon one how about a nice fat pigeon oh piss off now go on <laughs> <laughs> you I want your pigeon? Ones from yesterday. Piss off. Man, people are just brutal back then. And she can't say who she is right now. Right. That's just like a nice little girl and you can't the even give her something to eat. The, who? the hand of the king. The sept of Baylor. Oh, to go confess. If his name's Eddard, why is it Ned, you know? Why wouldn't it be Nedward or Nedard? All of our Eddards out there, please <laughs> please let us know. <laughs> How'd the end get in front? Right. Like me, my name's Anthony, but people call us Tony and I don't know why. Because it should be Thony. Should be what? Thony. Aunt Thony. No, don't hurt me. What are they doing to him? I guess this is where he are bends Are they holding knee. court or something? This is where he bends a knee right here. Oh, is he going to see Arya? Uh-uh. Y'all better not touch him. That's a good guy. All these people are just screaming coward, traitor, trying to just inflict as much shame as possible, but he's he's right. He's a good guy, and he did the right thing, and y'all are mean. The queen's a traitor, right? Look, she's like, come on, Dad, just do it for me. I hope he confesses, man. I am Eddard Stark, Lord of Winterfell, and Hand of the King. I come before you to confess my treason. I mean, it hurts to hear, but I'm glad. I betrayed the faith of my king and the trust of my friend Robert. I swore to protect and defend his children. I plotted to murder his son and seize the throne for myself. What? Not only is he confessing, he's lying. Oh my God. Chill, Arya. Joffrey Baratheon is the one true heir to the Iron Throne. By the grace of all the gods, <laughs> Lord of the Seven Why is he so Kingdoms, happy? Validation. And protect He don't even own. think he's king. They can't believe it. This man has confessed his crimes. The gods are just. They can also be merciful. What is to be done with this traitor? Your grace. Let him go. My mother wishes me to let Lord Eddard join the Night's Watch. He would serve the realm in permanent exile. And my lady Sansa has begged mercy for her father. But they have the soft hearts of women. So long as I am your king, treason shall never go unpunished. Bring me his head. What? Are you kidding me? Stop. He just did all that confessing. He just did all that. I really didn't think Ned was going to do that. Well, Arya can't do anything about it. Oh my god, oh, even, even Cersei queen. doesn't want it. Oh no. They're not about to go through with this. No, 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 they can't. God, he did it. They are about to do it too, because he cut that dude's head off in the beginning of the show. No way. At least he doesn't have to see Arya. Oh my god. They actually are did it. Are you kidding me? Whoa. Bro, that was crazy, bro. What? That was wild, so he ain't our main character no more. Oh my god. That was sad, dog. Bro, whoa. That's not even the season finale. What is the show? All right, guys, that was episode nine. So um, they cut Ned's head off, bro. Um, I just didn't catch that vibe. I thought he was going to get I out of it. Too. Like, and geez. when he did that, when he like confessed, I was so shocked. So he basically just gave a false confession for no reason. He basically reason. just made himself look crazy. Oh, my God. Even the queen didn't want that to happen, right? That this show is crazy. <laughs> OK, that was nuts. So what does it mean? Like, so where do we go from here? Basically, like Sansa is going to feel like in, they're going to control like she has her. to escape. They're Right. But she, they're going to control her until then, so until she gets to escape. The moment they cut her dad's head off, does she go from princess to prisoner? I don't know. I don't know because what Joffrey did was he was like, in my sweet Sansa, she can, she begged for my mercy, but they're soft. Forget them. Right. Oh, my god. It seemed gosh. like he impulsively just made a decision and just was so uh, He tried to impulsive. make a power move over them to just right. let them know, like, I don't care what y'all say to me. It's almost like the idea oh that, like, god. it's almost like this idea that he, for some reason, may not be the legitimate next in line to succeed the throne. It almost seemed like he got his confession he needed, so off with Ned's head so that tongue could never speak another truth. Doesn't right. it seem like that? I mean, it seems like maybe Joffrey is even questioning, is that true? You know what I'm saying? Like, it seems like he just wants to be done with it and, like, or he just wants to prove to everybody 
everybody like try me and I'm gonna cut your head off. That's like crazy. don't even question this junk anymore. Y'all are playing around poison. Some people get poison, but I'm cutting your head off. That's what he said. Ooh. I guess looking back at it now, it kind of, I mean, it makes sense. Why would you not cut his head off if you're Joffrey, you know? Yeah, he so. He committed treason, Joffrey's a tyrant. So you have it to sit there and worry about him holding that secret until he dies? You know, I don't really know how I see that playing out, to be honest, man. I really, I mean, I just kept picturing Rob pulling up, obviously, and then them battling and fighting. And then I was thinking, you know, it is a show and death happens in shows, especially shows of this magnitude. But so. main character deaths? Right, the I've main I've never main character. seen it. I've never seen yeah, it before. This is insane. That was kind of edgy, That's right? why everyone's like, this show's so good. Yeah. Because I guess like you never know who's gonna go. I thought Ned was literally the name, the main character. I thought we were about to go through his like triumphs. Well, someone, through eight seasons. Someone mentioned in a comment that I read it was something along the lines of like anyone can get it in the show or something like that. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I guess that's what you guys mean. So, um, dude, maybe even Tyrion could die. Dude, that'd be crazy. Oh, Tyrion's got a girlfriend, so he hired a girlfriend. Um, Shay, Shay. Yeah, he hired Shay. He promised her enough gold to spend for a thousand lifetimes, but apparently the Lannisters are actually not as wealthy as they proclaim to be, right? Don't no, they exaggerate their wealth? No. No? No. I thought that the kingdom was in debt. The kingdom's in debt, but not with the Lannisters aren't. They owe, they're in debt with the Lannisters. Oh, they're in debt with the Lannisters? Yeah. Oh, I thought Robert was saying that, like, he was using Cersei to, like, basically fuel his habits and stuff. Yeah. But they were running out of money. Like, yeah. They were running out of money to fund his wildness, basically. No, it's just okay. it's just the realm was in debt, running out of money. So they were they were tired of borrowing money from Tywin. Okay, well then I guess she's a girlfriend until he's tired of her. So, <laughs> um, what else happened in this episode? And it, it also any... turns out that she's not like the quote unquote or he thinks she is. She's like actually from like a kind of decent family. But she's still like for hire, right? I think I think she sounds like maybe she was captured. I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't really know about that. So I guess we'll see what's up with that. I don't really see her sticking around long. Me this either. is personality type. Yeah, I know. Or something um, bad. Or something bad because J Jamie got captured. Jamie got captured. Yeah. That's one of the biggest developments so, in the story. That was right? crazy what Rob did. Rob Rob tricked all of us, even us as viewers. We thought Rob was going to take on Tywin at the... Were they at the the gates of where were I they? don't know on that don't, bridge let's not something. get into the geography but yeah he basically sent 2,000 men to go fight Tyron Lannister mm -hmm. and uh sent 18,000 men the opposite way so that was crazy and now they have Jamie so it's that's gonna, a good tool to bro, play with we'll see that the problem is Cersei doesn't Joffrey should have waited until Jamie got back before they killed Ned dude because now they can hold Jamie right like, oh now my you God. Cut, now Jamie's head is gonna get let's cut, cut off Jamie's head so off. it's about to be a head mm -hmm. for a head I, the thing is I don't really hate war. Jamie yet. I hate that him and Cersei are together because that's weird but you don't hate Jamie I don't hate him gross. that much no I don't hate him I don't really know him enough to hate him well I hate him he threw a little kid out the window well yeah he did that but you know what I'm saying like he's just trying to kill everyone and he basically I kind of like Ned. Tyrion you like Jamie for one reason because he he gave Ned mercy kind of did that switch your character okay well you can't just like him he threw a kid out the window yeah he did do that what the heck anyways uh, I don't know what's up with that. It's not ever tripping around. No, I just, I think it's just I want to I want to like like people and not hate them. Because like you hate everyone. Yeah, I hate yeah, everyone. I'm kind of like I'm that trying to like I'm trying yeah. to like find like how can I like them, especially now that they killed Ned. I really don't like Joffrey now. I hate him. Well, it's easy to like like Arya and stuff, but of course it is because she's a little girl. Yeah. Sansa, on the other hand, is it's hard to hate Sansa right now. Ultimately, I still am a firm believer that if she would have just stopped pursuing. Joffrey so hard, then a lot of this stuff could have been prevented. But oh, and we also also there was witchcraft that happened on Cal Drogo's side. So I don't know how that's gonna come into play. But, but was that real witchcraft? Because I, I didn't know. really see anything. Like, I don't know. We, just, haven't, we haven't like seen the aftermath of it. I just kept seeing the smoke go like whoosh yeah. and stuff. So I don't I don't really know how real that you was. You saw how creeped out everyone was. They're like, this is blood magic. We don't do well, that. Yeah, here. but a yeah. thousand years ago they thought. Do you, you get what I'm trying to say? A long time ago, they thought that there was spells and rituals and a lot of, you know, and a lot of people still believe that type of stuff, you know, so I could definitely see it not being necessarily like true in the physical reality, but them thinking it's true just because they seem so like. But I guess that kind of goes with that. Everyone says Danny really does love Dr Cal Drogo to bring like, because she could have left and just let him die. Right. Yeah. Like with that being said, I feel like she. Oh, actually... I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Well, in that case, yeah, 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 for sure. No, no, no. So I agree with you. I mean, I think she definitely has affection for Drogo. 100%. Yeah, because she could have easily saved her own life and her baby's life and ran off and not had to worry about that. But she I'm just, didn't. She stayed. She even chose like blood magic, which is like bizarre. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to die on the hill by any means. All I'm saying is this show's theme so far seems to be that like love of family seems to be like one of the least important things. Like ambition seems to overcast everything in the show. Like Ned's ambition to be noble and defend his honor overshadows everything. Oh, John's ambition to 
do whatever John felt like his ambition is. Not quite sure about that. Led him to go throw his life away to the wall. Sansa's ambition to date Joffrey ended up leading to all this stuff. Not knowing that she knew that. But you know what I'm saying? This ambition seems to be the driving force of everyone's character in this universe. So I'm just saying, dude, like Daenerys just has ambition too. And I just mm -hmm. think that the vibe, all I was really trying to say really was that the vibe I'm getting is like, she may love Drogo, but she also loves that throne. And I'm just saying, I think at the end of the day, her ambition is going to matter more. Right, I, right I'm now saying. I'm That's just all. not getting a strong sense of that she wants the throne at the moment. I'm not getting that strong sense. Maybe in a few other episodes, but in this one, I didn't I didn't see that. Yeah, it not. seemed like she was more present. Well, it's just kind of hard to tell where that side of the story is going to go now. Yeah, because so. there's so much going on on the other side that you, it's right. hard to like think about. I'm kind of writing him off like he's dead, but he might not even die. Right, I mean, I mean, I mean that blood magic up. might work. That whole point of that might have just have been for twofold, to introduce magic and to introduce the idea that like a cow is not a king, it's more of just like the wolf pack leader at the time. Right, you know it's whoever's so. the strongest and I guess the one that can stand up on the horse. Mm -hmm. So let's find something we can agree on. Did you think this was an amazing episode? No, because Ned's Oh, because Ned's head got <laughs> And I'm, I'm mad now. Like, Do you I'm feel sad. more invested now that you saw that? Like, do you feel like you're you're way more excited to watch the next one, or are you less excited? How do you feel? I mean, I guess I gotta know what the aftermath is. You know what I'm saying? So you're more invested to find. Yeah, out. but I'm but it makes me sick because I love Ned. I'm so tired of seeing that guy's character die. Right, we're two and zero. Right? <laughs> like Boromir first. I had to watch that crap, which this one was worse to me. I mean, no offense, Lord of the Rings. I love that movie, but Boromir's death. This one was a worse death for me and with his character what about you we'll see in lord of the rings it was very obvious obvious that boromir's character was like the third will you know more like the fifth will but everyone else's character just stood out more and his was sort of in the back shadow so well his was kind of known to be the human so it was kind of like he's the one that was like making the mistakes i definitely am significantly more invested in the character in this series than i was in lord of the rings um and that's the takeaway nothing from lord of the rings because that, that was amazing was go incredible. check that out that was the not best, trying to compare the two just saying. best trilogy of all time yeah so far it's it's hard to say man there's it's, it's just hard to say there's gonna be so many but it's definitely one of them incredible episode i'm really excited to watch the next one awesome. me too i'm i'm so nervous what do you think is gonna happen to sansa like i was saying earlier in my mind sansa is someone who i think she's a prisoner she's now. a prisoner yeah right she's she gonna has be a to prisoner. be a prisoner she's gonna she be, be a prisoner she's either gonna be a prisoner by like actually going down and being in chains or a prisoner by having to listen to them because she has nobody what i can say though is over in westeros the storylines that are going on and fluctuating amongst each other they're significantly easier to understand and to predict. Not, not, not that it's easy to predict in any way, but they're no. easier to understand and predict than Daenerys's story that she has going on over there. Like I said, her intentions and everything are still, they're kind of kind of not very clear to me right. yet. But I'm, I'm assuming as the show goes on, that will become more I think clear, that's the point. I think that part's supposed to be kind of like a mystery. They sort of introduced her and I feel like- Cause she's still even learning the customs over there. Right, like, yeah. So she's learning, we're learning. It's like hard to exactly know what she wants or needs i'm excited to find out though like yeah. subscribe man hit us up on patreon if y'all want more content and yeah i don't really have anything else to say but we're gonna try to get some more game of thrones out asap let's go